Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Google Drive full storage. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So in this case, let's get started. In this case, how do we fix this uh, issue when in this case, our Google Drive storage is actually pretty full. Now there are going to be certain ways that you could get around this one. So one of the ways for you to fix this problem is to basically delete some items that you don't want or you no longer need in Google Drive. So I know this is the obvious answer here, but in this case, go ahead and open up uh, Google Drive here. And usually you have the option here to view your file. So typically you just need to click on the tree dot icon here and just choose the option uh, that actually says delete. So typically it's going to be at the uh, bottom side here. So in this case, let's just look, look for it. So again, it should be at the very bottom here, but if you if you don't see that, you just go ahead and go back, go to files at the bottom right. And from here, click on the tree dot icon again. And at the very bottom, you should be able to see the remove button. So again, this is the straight way or straight uh, process for you to actually remove or basically solve this problem, which in this case, Google Drive has a full storage. Now, for example, all the files that I have right now is actually pretty important to you. And you want to uh, basically um, keep those files. You don't want to delete them, but you still want to fill, free up some space. Well, the direct answer or the alternative that you could do here is to basically just create a new account on Google. So the great thing about Google here is they actually allow you to store up to 15 gigabyte of storage. If I'm not mistaken, as you can see for the free version of Google here, you have 15 gigabyte of storage. So again, sometimes you might be nearing that 50, 15 gigabyte uh, threshold and uh, you want to basically uh, access or obviously expand your uh, your storage here. In this case, you could go and click on get more storage here, but again, this is going to be the free, uh, paid version for uh, expand, uh, extending or expanding your storage here. So actually the plans they have right now here is actually pretty cheap. So currently right now in Australia, they actually give you an offer for two months. You could basically just pay 0 0.62 or 62 cents a month to get like 100 gig extra 100 extra gigabyte of space. But so afterwards, after two months, you'll need to pay around three dollars or 2.50 uh, cents or two dollars and 50 cents for you to maintain that 100 gigabyte of storage. Now, in this case, if, for example, you don't want to pay for the additional uh, storage here. Well, another way that you can expand your storage is by, by uh, creating a new account in Google. So typically, you just need to click on your profile at the top right here. And from here, just choose the option that says add another account. Now from here, let's go ahead and choose Google. And from here, it should redirect you to the next page. In this case, you have the option to create an account. Go ahead and click on create account and choose for my personal use. Now from here on, you just need to fill out all the necessary details that it require. So for example, I'm going to enter my name. You also need to enter your uh, birthday here as well as your email. In this case, once you've provided all the details, you should be able to create your account and you should now be able to start using it. Now, once you've created your account, what, what you need to do is you just need to switch over to that other account. So at the top right, go and click on your profile. And from here, you should be able to see your other account here and just select on it. If you want to switch over, let's go ahead and click on that account and you should be able to go to, go to that account, which in this case, you should be able to uh, basically start adding files here if you want to. Now, if you want to uh, basically access those uh, files here, what you need to do is you can just basically select one of the folders here. Like for example, I have this uh, Gmail templates folder here. You can go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon here and just click on the share option here. And from here, you just need to enter the email or your email, which in this case, once you start sharing this, uh, you the, your main account should be able to start accessing that file. So once you actually share access on that file, on your main account, it's not going to actually consume storage. So in this case, you're just basically sharing a link. So the actual location of that file is going to be the on the other account that you created. So this is a helpful tip or helpful thing that you could do here. But the only problem here is, for example, if you need more additional 15 gigabyte of data or uh, storage, you'll need to create another account for that. So it is kind of a hassle, but if you really want to get that free uh, storage, oh, in this case, that is the only way that we could do that. But yeah, so currently that is the only way for us to actually fix 
this issue in Google Drive may be for paid ones or the direct solution or for the free uh, way that we actually just shown you. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.